Hi, Virgo. Welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, for those of you currently in separation, we're going to find out your person's feelings towards you right now. Today is the 5th of October, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.35 p.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. It's free to subscribe. And if you've commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. Okay, Virgo, let's uh, get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgos currently in separation. How does the person feel about Virgo right now? Please bear in mind that Virgo is a general reading, may or may not resonate with you. Ooh. The Devil, Judgment, Seven of Cups, Seven of Furs. This reading could also resonate with you, <clears throat> excuse me, in the past, currently, or in the future. Wow. Hmm. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Virgo, there's something unexpected that might happen during this separation, but I'll get to that later on in the reading, okay? Now, we've got the devil, so this could either mean that your person is a Capricorn or the person you're currently separated from may feel very attached to you, okay? But this attachment may not be the healthiest because the devil, as we all know, um, can be toxic. And we've also got the four wands and the sun in the first. Do feel a uh, Virgo a very strong attachment that your person still has with you, even though both of you are separated. And we've got the judgment here. So they have been, I feel like they have been thinking a lot about the past. And the devil could also be a very obsessive energy. So obsessively thinking about the past. And seven of cups here is in reverse. So perhaps they could be trying to make a judgment call, make a decision. Which we'll get to eventually because of the tower. This is very interesting. Very unexpected. But again, we'll get to that in a bit. So we've got the four swords. Has been thinking a lot about you strategizing or planning page of cups and reverse they may feel like whatever they may have said to you was immature or was said was said prematurely okay um that may have led to a separation perhaps a judgment call that was done before it should have been i hope that makes sense because your person could also be a pisces cancer scorpio could be somebody younger than you are or just really immature three of swords here is in reverse virgo they do feel they've been thinking about uh healing this connection with you and we've got the tower so i feel like this is more of a prediction okay Virgo um, if they don't have it right now in the future they might have an awakening to the fact that they actually want to heal this connection with you they might make that decision to unexpectedly call you or text you I think they have something to say that perhaps with a son of a verse um, they weren't ready to say. Page of Cups in reverse could also mean that as well. Just delaying communicating with you about something. Okay. And you know what, Virgo? I'm going to clarify the tower because I want to find out more. Kind of curious. What is it? What, what, what are they going to say to you? Why is this so shocking? But let's see more, Virgo, before we get to that. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. King of Swords, my verse. Your person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles, Temperance could be a Sagittarius. We're going to be obsessed with that idea of reconciling with you, idea of to the idea of maybe both of you, if both of you didn't separate, 
would both of you be, be like a really good team? If both of you could work as a team or start a business, a little, a little bit of a specific detail there because the pentacles could mean money, right? Or buying a house together, starting a family together. Um, because Tabithos is a very abundant energy, very, very abundant. They could be feeling like if we, if I was to reconcile with Virgo, maybe my life would be more abundant. And then King of Swords in reverse, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, your person. But he's in reverse though, so there's something he or she is not gender specific, something that he's not very clear about and I feel like it's making them unhappy that thought that notion of what if okay what if we stayed together what if we were to reconcile what if we didn't separate what if I didn't make that decision too quickly making that poor judgment call with the page of cups in reverse and again it could also be like somebody prejudging somebody or making a decision too quickly for sorts they may also be thinking that perhaps they should have waited before they made that decision whatever the de decision it could be okay whether it, it was to separate with you or whether it was something that they have said or something that they have done okay Let's see a bit more. And again, for go this tower here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify it a bit, okay? And we've got the strength. Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like they have lost you. Um, and Five of Wands, very conf conflicted, but is holding back. They're holding back from talking to you right now. The Sun in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse. I, I don't actually, I, I feel like Virgo, your person is starting to question whether this separation should have happened. Um, you're questioning it because of the five of wands, very conflicted, right? Because the ten of pentacles is a really good card. What if we stay together? We may have a really, really good life together. We would be so abundant. Maybe I judge too quickly. King of Swords in reverse. Now they're questioning the facts. Um, whatever this your person did or said, I feel like now they're questioning it, right? The sun in reverse, the page of cups in reverse again. That, that feeling of like, oh, I was so immature. I shouldn't have done that. Or I shouldn't have done this too quickly, too soon. Calling this connection off or again, doing whatever they did before. So I do sense some regrets here, but they're still trying to justif justify it though with the judgment here. And then the Ace of Swords, they feel like they need to talk to you or have some sort of clarity with you. And look at the Temperance and the Devil. This is an angel, this the Devil, right? On one on each shoulder. So they could be having some really good feelings about you. They may feel like you are a good person, but there's something wrong here, right, with the devil. Nobody is perfect. So they could be feeling both ways, like feeling good about you, but also could be feeling kind of bad about you. Whatever that may have happened between the two of you, I think that might cost them to reevaluate with the judgment of some pentacles, reevaluating the connection, reevaluating the decision that was being made, or maybe currently they're evaluating whether if they should make that decision to reach out to you, talk to you, hash things, hash things out with you, or reconcile with you. Definitely feeling very conflicted, right? Let's clarify the tower. Use this deck. Spirits and angels, please clarify the tower. Look, three of swords in reverse. 
end. Remember this? Let's see a bit more. Virgo, make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Three of Cups. Yep. They will have this realization that they want to reconcile with you, see you again, and heal this connection with you. Ten of Cups. Seven of Cups. I feel like they might want to tell you that they didn't see a happily ever after with you because they were confused. For whatever reason, they were confused. And the Queen of Pentacles here is in reverse. I also feel like Virgo, they feel like if they were to reach out to you and wanting to heal this connection, you would most likely ignore them because you're in reverse. They may also have this awakening that maybe it is too late Okay, they wonder, they could also be wondering if it is too late. Because now you are no longer invested in them. You're already in reverse. Alright, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, all info is below. And make sure you don't forget to comment. I love Virgo. If you'd like to be in a running to win a free personal reading with me, on the 15th of October on this channel, I'm going to be giving free personal readings during my live stream. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for that. I hope you are excited as well. But don't forget to hit on the bell notification button, yeah? So you'll be notified when I go live so you won't miss it. All right, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love you. Bye.